Hey Wargamers, welcome back to another War Games Delivered video. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today, just going over a quick full showcase of the Italian Versaglieri army. I've got these guys all painted up and based using the Army Painter products, uh, ready to go for the third edition release of the Bolt Action Rule Set. We're going to be using these guys in a Africa campaign against the British 8th Army. I mostly use speed paints to paint the troops and a mix between the air paints and speed paints to paint the tanks on either side. There will be links in the description below if you'd like to learn how to paint these guys. Figured we'd start off by showing off the command unit, starting with the commanding officer. He's got the map in the center right. Then we've got two soldiers with him, both with rifles, one with a horn, and the medic is next to them as well. Next up, we have the medium mortar team. Uh, it's three guys with a medium mortar right in the center there. All of these miniatures are metal. And next up we have the medium machine gun team. These guys are also metal, uh, along with the command squad that we saw in the first shot. Now we'll move on to all of the CO cast minis from the army. We have the uh, anti-tank gun here. Moving on, we have the small mortar team with two guys. Uh, all of these units are available in the Italian Versaglieri starter army. And for the last set of CO cast minis available in the starter army, we have the two-man sniper team. These guys are great at taking out high priority units. Next up, we'll move over to the tank options that we have available in the army. This is the Caro Armato tank. And there are plenty of build options for this tank. You can do it with the top open or down. And next up, we have the Simoventi tank that you can use as well. Uh, you get one of these included in the army and you can build it as either tank. I went ahead and picked up an extra one so that you guys get the full scope when we finally do our battle reports on the channel. For the infantry, I built three 10-man squads, each with two light machine guns and two submachine guns. The rest of the soldiers are armed with the M38 Carcado Carbine. Here we have all of the sergeants for the squad in the front and the other SMG users in the back. Uh, all of these squads have different helmets to kind of differentiate them. As you can see, you get plenty of build options on the sprues so you can make your guys look very unique. And here are our six soldiers with the Breda M30 light machine gun. Uh, again, as you can tell, you get plenty of options on the sprues, uh, so all of your guys can be pretty individual if you'd like them to. I wanted to show off the instruction leaflet here because it does give you a lot of options for how you want to build your army, if you want them to be in a temperate or tropical uniform, and where to put the decals. It also gives you a handy little color guide on the bottom, depending on which uniform you're going for. And I set these units up to be either three units of 10 or six squads of five, depending on the combat situation you're in. In closing, this army has a lot of personality. You can use the speed paints to great effect here to really bring your army to life and get them on the tabletop a bit faster. Thank you guys as always for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos and battle reports, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.